hello guys you're welcome to my channel again this is a home of fashion where i do teach how to cut and sew varieties of style so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you a simple method that you can use to cut a line gown in few minutes so let's get into it this is a fabric i want to use so if you are new here you're welcome if you're my old subscriber a big thanks to you please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you can get notified so i'm starting my measurement from the neckline i just measured the width of my neck and the depth the width is four and the depth is six so i just chucked like this in form of v but it's not a sharp v so my next measurement now is shoulder measurement as you can see I've marked it like this so I'm taking my post measurement now my best measurement is 12 but I measure 13 then I locate my round under post measurement which is supposed to be 10 but I'm going to measure 11 that is 11 into 4 so I just mark like this and connect to my round measurement so I'm taking my waist measurement also I connect it together then this is my hip the hip is 25 then I measure 26.5 so as you can see just chop down like this now to get it straight I'm just going to place my long ruler like this chuck it straight down so you can see the A is formed already like this so I'm going to connect my arm both together if you have your French cup you can make use of it here so you can see it like this come down by one inch and connect to my neckline that is for the shoulder slanting as you can see so I'm cutting out the front neckline like this then for the back I measure 2.5 inches it's going to be high neck I don't want it to be too low so just cut it out if you can see the two neckline is formed then I start shaping out as simple as this so if you don't want a sharp end at this emmy line you can just come out by you can just come up by one inch then shape it up but on this my own that is how I want it so as you can as you know that the chest is not always as wide as shoulder so i just come out by a half inch to get my chest measurement in a triangular form so in my next video i'll be teaching you how to use that method but i think this method is the simplest method so i just want to measure my round arm hole now so that i can cut my sleeve the sleeve is going to be like kind of a buckle sleeve so you just stay tuned and watch the type of sleeve i'll be cutting to this dress so I just confirm the length of my sleeve, then the width, I'm just going to cut it out like this. So 
so this sleeve now will be carrying elastic rubber so I measure from the shoulder down like 10 inches I mark that is where my elastic rubber is going to be like this I'm going to use to squeeze it together like this so I take the armhole measurement then I mark then my sleeve my wrong my wrong sleeve yes I marked like this down so in order to get it straight just place my ruler to get a straight line on it as you can see this is how it's going to look so I'll just come up like I'm just going to shape it out like this so I just come up like half inches and shape it out because I don't want I don't want a sharp end you can also do this to your main dress so right now I'll go and sew everything I'll come and show you I'll cut a facing for the neckline so as you can see I've already used the elastic rubber to drag the sleeve as you can see how beautiful it's looking the second sleeve and this is the neckline of my dress so I cut a facing that I used to turn it then use any gun to come it down as you can see how neat it is this is the shoulder still turn everything inside so the inline dress is as simple as this going to place the sleeve on it like this and join it together then I'll complete everything and come and show you how it's looking so all right guys our dress is ready as you can see how beautiful this came out guys if you find this video helpful please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you